I'm gonna run through this as quick as I can. I've been trying this before, but I keep getting interrupted. I can't edit it right now because I don't have a computer that edits videos. This thing simply will not do it. Uh, okay, this is Couch's Tether app. Couch is the developer behind Clockwork Mod Recovery and Raw Manager. This is a tethering app that does not require root. So you do not have to root your phone and void your warranty to install a tether app. Now, both of these Wi-Fi tether for your users and this wired tethering app both serve a purpose. If you use Wi-Fi tether, you can tether with anything that has a wireless card in it. Uh, Wii, PS3, Xbox 360, laptop, anything out there. The con behind it is, if you plug it in, you cannot charge it. The AC is disabled, and it drains your battery fast. I mean, very fast. This actually charges your battery. You won't be able to see it even if I zoom in on it, but it is charging the phone right now. And eventually, that will, light will turn green, letting me know the battery is fully charged. I'm connected to my laptop right now using just this. Wi-Fi is turned off. I can turn it on by flipping this switch or turn it off. The process is fairly simple. You go to his Google Plus, you download this Windows Setup MSI, it will install this Tether app right here. I could not get it to work out of the box. I had to go here, click this link, which took me to the support site, and then I had to search for the Evo 3D. Since I have an Evo 3D, I'll be able to provide a direct link to this page. You download this, and when you do, it'll have it'll install the drivers for you. Once it's done installing the drivers, it'll come up with another screen, and you'll click next, and it'll install HTC Sync. I do not have HTC Sync installed, and you can click cancel if you want to, which is what I did. Once it's done with the drivers and it comes to the next install screen, you can cancel that one out. And when you hook your phone up, it'll say My HTC Sync, um, and the drivers are installing. Once that happened, it was very, very painless. I, I sent the link to my phone using Chrome to Phone, which is a very neat feature, and on my phone, it instantly started downloading it. And once it downloaded it, all I had to do was Press start on the phone, and then start on here, and I'm tethering. This is freaking awesome. You could tether using 3G or 4G this way. You can charge your phone, and right now it's free. So, freaking, there's no reason not to use this. Uh, on his Google Plus page, if you, if you read all the comments, anytime someone has an issue, he fixes it pronto, and... He provides awesome support of 419 comments, and nearly every single one of them is a reply with a log and him saying, um, here's a new version, I fixed it. So, download this now. It's freaking awesome. You can tether using 3G or 4G. Uh, it charges your phone while you're tethering. There's, abs there's just no reason for you not to do this. It's, if you, and okay, for example, on here, if you tether using USB, you're like, well, I can only tether with my laptop. That's not true. There's this thing called Connectify when it comes up. And basically with this, it's, it's a free service. There's a paid and a free. With the free one, you can share the tethering, the USB tether with your laptop, and then your laptop will share this with Wi-Fi. So a PS3, an Xbox 360, anything out there that's wireless can now use this. Now, if your phone's rooted, yes, I would highly recommend using the Wi-Fi tether app instead if your battery's charged. If your battery's not charged and it's dead, you have to use the wired tether app, but you can still tether using your laptop to other devices that have wireless cards in them. So, this is awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm done saying that. I'm done with this video. I'm sorry I can't edit it. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.